okay my general belief was that whatever i can see i will put it one mm shot and i think many of the doctors still follow the same principle okay which this one is going to show you your anatomical working length not the minor constrictor so that concept was not at all in our mind at that point of time that is why i used to hate bmp so now any new dentist complaining that rcts are difficult you have not seen the difficulties in rcts hello doctors welcome this video is on the topic of apex locator the topics of discussion in this video related to apex locator are as follows number 1 best apex locator that you should buy number 2 how apex locators work number 3 must have features in a perfect apex locator number 4 are cheap apex locator safe to use and number 5 why do we need apex locators in our dental clinic doctors apex locator is one of the most important equipment required for the bread and butter treatment of every dentist and that is root canal treatment doctors a perfect and an accurate rct without apex locator is not possible so now the question is which apex locator should you buy and this is the main aim of this video to provide you accurate answers on what is the best apex locator for you so doctors once again welcome i am dr tarun mawadia from the aksa dental academy let's begin let us kick start our discussion with our first topic and that is the best apex locator for you doctors there are many apex locator options available in the market starting from price range of 6500 up to 65000 of rupees but doctors our recommendation to all of you is this endoking apex locator worth around 6500 rupees if you are in search of only apex locator doctors by chance if you are in a need of a new apex locator and an endo motor too then our recommendation for you would be this combo pack offer from endo king which is going to provide you a apex locator and a separate endo motor both at a cost price of 11500 rupees doctors the scientific reason for us to select this apex locator is going to come forward in the discussion along with the proof meanwhile a question might arise in your mind that will it not be a smart decision to buy an endo motor with in built apex locator to settle your this query i have two reasons for all of you why you should not get an endo motor with in built apex locator reason number 1 cost price doctors let's say for example you buy separate apex locator and a separate endo motor from endo king which is going to cost you around 11500 rupees while on the other hand if you are in a market to buy an endo motor with in built apex locator it is going to cost you anywhere between 20 to 25000 of rupees so doctors getting an endo motor with in built apex locator is going to be twice costlier compared to buying apex locator and endo motor separately reason to for not buying an endo motor with in built apex locator is functionality doctors let's say for example you have a separate apex locator and a separate endo motor both of these equipments are electronic equipments and they function on a battery so at any point of time they are going to have some of the other electronical malfunction or at least battery issues now if you have both of them separate if you have issue with one of the equipment you can still use the second equipment for its designed purpose while on the other hand if you have endo motor with in built apex locator and if that one equipment has any of the electronic malfunction or at least a battery issue you are going to lose both apex locator and endo motor too so doctors buying an apex locator and endo motor as a separate device is going to prove cheaper to you also and based on functionality it is going to be more smarter decision for you on the other hand if you have an endo motor with in built apex locator and if that equipment has any electronic issue or battery issue you will lose endo motor and apex locator both together and then you become helpless in performing your root canals 
Now doctors, in order to understand why our recommendation is so cheap and still why it is going to be the best Apex locator for you, you need to have an idea on how Apex locator work and what are its principles. So doctors, this brings me to our second topic of discussion in this video and that is how Apex locator work. Doctors, Apex locators before 5 to 10 years were somewhere up to 4th generations in Apex location which worked only on one principle. Meanwhile, the current generation Apex locator which are available mainly from 5th generation or above this Apex locators work on two principles or two impulse theory so now what are these principles of apex location the first principle is commonly known to us and which is generally based on the principle of electronic circuit completion so doctors when the apex locator is turned on the current passes through both its end and one end which is present at the lip corner and other end which is connected to the file now as the file proceeds into the canal of the tooth the electronic current from that file to the other end of the apex locator is very less because of the presence of anatomical structures in between. But as the file proceeds deeper into the canal and as it reaches more towards the apex area, this impulse or the strength of the signal increases. Once the file is little bit above the apical area, the strength of this signal is more and once it is going to reach the apical opening where the signal is going to be the maximum and this is how the principle of circuit completion helps the apex locator to suggest us the location of an apex. But doctors, this one principle is not enough and this was the reason why older generation apex locator were not accurate and they could also not function in presence of fluid. While at the same time, J. Morita of older generations used to provide answers accurately related to Apex and that is why it has become a golden standard. Now doctors, times have changed and with time, technology becomes cheaper and easily available to everybody. So the current generation Apex locator, which are fifth generation and above, they work on the same two impulse principles on which the J. Morita Apex locators work. Doctors, the second principle is based on the principle of friction or resistance. Doctors, now we all know that the anatomy of any canal or root is generally conical. That is, the space is wider at the top region and it becomes thinner at the apical region. Now, when our file which is connected to the Apex locator, it has currents passing through it from the apex locator. So as our file is gliding through the canal space, anyone who has used apex locator will agree to this that when you put a thin file in a wider canal space, then there will be no reading shown to you in the apex locator. But as soon as the file touches one wall, the reading starts appearing in the apex locator. Now as the file glides through the thin space and, and as the friction increases, the readings becomes more closer to the apical region. Once the file is about to reach the apical area, the readings will be more closer to the apical reading and as the file is about to reach the apical opening, where the friction is drastically going to drop down, at that point of time again a large drop in signal of friction will be noted by the other end of the apex locator and now this electronic equipment using these two signals. Number one is from the high signal frequency of circuit completion and number second that is the drop in the resistance felt by the file. It is going to conduct is mechanical calculation and using these two signals we are given accurate apex location. So doctors, that is why the older apex locator which has only one parameter to give us apex where many a times wrong 
and and they were not functional in presence of fluid but now this fifth generation and above opex locator which have two parameters so that any miscalculation can be deducted and that is how they are now more accurate in presence of fluids also and they are more accurate and that is why we would recommend you to buy any opex locator with its fifth generation and above so doctors the conclusion is any company which has both the principles of this apex location does the job for us now if that option is available at a 6500 rupees why would we just suggest you to buy something expensive than that doctors reason for us to explain you this is whenever you are in conversation with somebody else who is not aware about the generations of apex locators and who just blindly believes that everything cheap is not good and without any in depth knowledge or research done on apex locator they would just suggest that expensive items are better such people will not be able to create a doubt in you on your choice of apex locator finally doctors when our aim is to just find an apex and if it can be done accurately with an equipment costing 6500 rupees which by the way i myself am using since more than 8 to 9 years so i can vouch for it i can give you my own personal assurance and addition to that you are now aware about the principles on which apex locators work so now based on this assurance from our part experience of more than 8 to 9 years and knowledge regarding the principles of apex locator i think you will also find it unnecessarily to pay more money for apex locator just for a brand name but doctors the topic does not end over here because this is not the important feature for an apex locator there are many other features to look around when you are going to buy an apex locator and this brings me to my next topic of discussion and that is must have feature in a perfect apex locator so some of these important features are apex locator should be fifth generation and above it should provide accurate results in presence of fluid it should be rechargeable it should have a color screen it should have sound notification or alerts it should be easily recalibrated it should have an auto off facility and it should have an easy availability of wires and hooks which generally are the common things that go bad with apex locators doctors now some details on all these features so number one feature is definitely what we have discussed earlier and that is apex locator should be fifth generation or above and the reasons are now very well known to you the second important feature is it should provide an accurate results in presence of fluid so now doctors with the older generation of apex locator this was an headache and one of the major reason for the false positive results but now modern apex locators which work on a two impulse or two signal theory this apex locator are now more accurate and this problem of false results in presence of fluid is now out of picture but still i would recommend you to try your level best to keep your tooth canals and chamber free of pools of liquid some amount of moisture or few drops of fluids are present that is acceptable but do not intentionally try to do apex location with presence of large amount of fluid present next important feature for an apex locator is it should be rechargeable uh, doctors now you know that apex locator work on a current or electronic impulse and this requires power so there has to be a constant current supply to both the ends of apex locator now when you have something rechargeable it becomes easy when you have something that requires separate number of cells to be provided apex locator will require around 6 to 7 of double a cells now this is an extra cost to us but additional to that if any one of this cell is low in power the important current generated will not be of the frequency needed and we might not get accurate results while on the other end whenever you have a rechargeable battery which is a single battery a constant desired current is generated and chances of wrong signals or insufficient current is not present and we can receive accurate results at every point of time so it becomes very much necessary for you to have an apex locator which is rechargeable basically it has one big battery which will provide a constant electronic current 
The next important feature for our Apex locator is it should have sound notification or alerts. Basically, what does this sound notification do? So as our file glides through the canal and as our file is going to reach near to our Apex, the sound notification are slowly going to increase. When it is going to accurately reach the Apex, there is going to be a different sound notification. And when our file goes beyond the Apex, there is going to be an alarming sound notification. So now doctors, what is the necessity of this? This helps us that whenever we are performing an apex location, our concentration and our vision and our hands are occupied inside the oral cavity. Okay. So now if you have sound alerts coming from the other end, you don't need to shift your vision or head each point of time by locating apex for every canal. Okay. And this can be extra beneficial to the doctors who are using loops and more importantly, microscopes so where, where changing of the vision uh, is a little bit of hassle for us as your focal length and etc changes so this provides an additional benefit definitely trusting this sound alerts is little bit difficult for beginners but once you master your opex locators you become comfortable it and you know this is the exact uh, uh, location of my opex and you can just measure it with your scale so you don't have to change your focus or your vision so doctors, the next important necessary feature according to me in an apex locator should be it should have a separate marking for our minor constrictor or our actual apex. Now doctors, if you try to recollect the anatomy of the apex, we are very well known that there is something called as a minor constrictor or a and a major constrictor or this is something called as an anatomical apex and something as an actual apex. So actually according to the principles of RCT, we are supposed to fill the canal or we are supposed to end our post RCF material at this minor constrictor. And that is why I would recommend you to never trust your X-rays for your working length because when you consider your working length through an X-ray, you are considering this point and that is called as an anatomical apex which will generally misguide you to wider preparation of the apical region and overfilling of your post RCF material. When you trust your apex location, it is going to give you reading up to minor constrictor that according to the principles of RCT is the ideal location where your post RCF material should end. So now doctors in every apex locator, the reading starts from anywhere between 20, then slowly drops down. Then it reaches up to 6, 5, 4, 3, 0, up to 0. And when the readings goes beyond the 0, it is generally indicated as beyond the apex. So many a times when the students have not trained themselves well or they have not educated themselves on use of apex locator, they would like to consider apex at the 0 reading. But if you believe to some experts and professionals, they would always recommend you to stop or consider Apex at a 3 reading. Almost majority of the good quality Apex locator will have a separate marking similar to this shown to your screen, which will suggest you your Apex. So definitely your file should go up to 0 reading, but you should again pull it back and you should consider this 3 point marking or Apex marking as your actual final working length. Doctors, a small note in between, I hope you are aware that whenever your file is going through the Apex locator and the reading starts dropping from 10, 8, 9, 6, 5, 4, then this 6, 5, 4 readings are not the length in mm. Let's say for example, if your file is at a 6 marking in Apex locator, it does not indicate that your file is 6 mm away from the Apex. It is just an arbitrarily number showing you that you need to go little bit be little bit further. Okay, so let's say for example, I am suggesting you to stop at this apex marking or I am telling you to stop at this three marking. It does not mean that I am suggesting you to stop three mm uh, above your working length. Not at all. This is just an uh, instrument based marking for us to understand and this will vary from instrument to instrument but basically your final working length should be if an apex marking is separately given in your apex locator you should consider that as your working length. If by chance it is not provided my recommendation to you would be reach up to the zero point and then retrieve it back up to two or three point marking and you should consider that as your working length. 
in no means this means that you are doing a short preparation so don't be worried about it so doctors this is one of the feature that i would suggest if a separate three point marking is provided by your company only each point of time you don't have to calculate it yourself or retrieve it back and another feature is along when the sound alerts are given at the three point marking your apex locator is going to have a separate sound so along with sound indication and this three point marking you don't have to every point of time look at the screen and stop exactly over there as the sound alert increases you can stop where it suggests you at this three point marking doctors further in order to learn how to use apex locator exactly we would recommend you to join our whatsapp group name we the dentist group and for the upcoming few months we are introducing a new activity for our subscribers and our group members and that is going to be video meet or conferences for all our subscribers and our we the dentist group member which we are going to conduct at a regular interval of one or two months throughout the year and here we are going to conduct lectures on the topic which is going to benefit the members of our group and to our subscribers and these topics are generally out of the box topics or where uh, we can really make a difference for you so doctors do grab the opportunity and be part of our revolutionary dental group and that is the v dentist group there are some rules to join the group all the details are mentioned in the description box please have an habit of reading all the instructions moving further in our discussion doctors as we all know that apex locators are an electronic equipment and they do some complex calculation based on the impulses received by them and there are chances of some minor error which will happen with them with time so in order to get accurate results every time there is a recalibration facility available with many good quality apex locators basically there is a separate usb or a small pin given to you it is supposed to be connected at the wire end of the apex locator and once the apex locator is turned on it will do its own calculation and then it will be again uh, recalibrated it is basically something like a like as an default setting when you are using something for more amount of time there are some changes in calculation little bit of wear and tear etc here the electronic item will not have wear and tear but basically there are some changes in 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 uh, impulse generated happening so by this recalibration pin it is going to again recalibrate the quantity of impulse generated and it is going to reset everything for you it is not a compulsory feature but it is better to have something like this so that you can have a mental peace that your equipment is recalibrated and it is showing you accurate results basically your apex locator will remain accurate for longer period of time now it is not at all compulsory to do this recalibration every day or every week you can perform it at an interval of 2 to 3 months it is more than enough next another necessary feature an apex locator should have is an auto off function now you cannot call this as a necessary function but many a times doctors have an habit of performing rcts where they would like to perform working length of one canal and then completely perform the bmp of it and then shift to the next canal so in this process the apex locator is continuously on and it is just going to drain the power of apex locator so now if you have a facility of auto off then if the apex locator is not used for 5 minutes it will get auto shut off doctors if you ask me i follow a method where i am going to find out the working length of all the canals first and then i am going to dedicate my time towards bmp and it will also save your battery consumption too but main aim is to save our time during bmp not a point of discussion right now but a small feature to be considered as auto off it is not a deal breaker but if you have it then better next important feature for us in an apex locator is it should have an easily availability of spare parts now apex locator only needs two parts which will go bad number one is this file hook which is the most uh, damaging part and that is why the companies provide extra 2 to 3 file hook when you buy a product but still if you are going to use this apex locator they generally last very long so it is easy for us to find this extra spare part and that to at a cheaper price and that's number second product that goes 
or the number second component that goes bad is this complete wire extension of apex locator it generally breaks down or cracks up at this junction where it connects to apex locator so use it carefully educate your assistants to use them carefully but still after many years if it has a problem the spare parts should be easily available to you now with some premium quality apex locator this file hook and this wire are of the same price in which you can get this 6500 rupees apex locator okay so here i would assure you that the endocking apex locator has all the features which we have discussed above and this spare part are easily available online or through your dealer at a cost price of 500 rupees up to maximum 1000 rupees for this wire otherwise these hooks are easily available at a price of 250 to 500 rupees so doctors these are some of the features that are to be considered whenever you are selecting your apex locator and now i can assure you that what all features we have considered here necessary for a perfect apex locator all those features are present in our recommendation so doctors a small note whenever you find any recommendation in our group on our youtube channel or by me personally please believe us all those things are tried and tested by me personally by many of my students and by many of the doctors or my friend circles and we test them for many years together and then only we would recommend you to use them so whenever you find any recommendations from us you can blindly test them they are going to be the most accurate ones and they are sometimes going to be most economical one too okay moving further in our point of discussion so doctors after discussing our first point and that is the best apex locator option for us number second point how apex locator work and number third point what are the important features for a perfect apex locator now we have reached to our fourth topic and that is are cheap apex locators safe to use doctors by now i hope that we have given you the proof and we have given you our assurance also I am using this endocking apex locator after trying it out, testing it out and doing my thorough research. I can now proudly and safely say it for you that yes, when it comes to apex locator, the myth that everything expensive is good is proven wrong. And in this particular case, a cheaper option of 6500 rupees will do the same function which one of the premium apex locator can do for you provided you have understanding of how to use an apex locator only these features are not going to get you accurate reading that is why you need to join our discussion on how to accurately get readings with an any apex locator and then we can definitely assure you you will get an ap accurate apex at each point of time also doctors similar to this there are many aspects of dentistry where everywhere expensive thing means good is wrong now in these modern times so that is why i would recommend you to be punctual with our channel where we are going to constantly bring up such things where you can definitely save out money save your time and improve your skills and for better understanding of things you can join our uh, community on whatsapp and and through our video conferences we are going to now provide better education to all of you so be part of those activities and we can assure you it will be the best utilization of your time and you will be educated on some of the important things when it comes to practical aspects of dentistry now lastly doctors the last topic of discussion is why do we need apex locators so doctors before giving out some reasons for this apex locator i would like to share you my life story or part of my life when i started my dental practice try to understand when i started my dental practice rvgs were not a reality so we were still following the classical methods of developing those x-ray films now anybody who has used it okay you can try to recollect the problems we had with them and if somebody who has not used it let me tell you in few words we used to have those plastic film uh, films in those uh, uh, plastic wrappers and there used to be a separate x-ray box which had three liquids one developer one fixer and a normal liquid in between 
so now we were supposed to put the film in the oral cavity now if the film will shake patient will move and our angles were not right then we had to shoot again and it was not easy to find we had to shoot an x-ray first then go into the developer box open up the x-ray develop it give it some time and then observe the x-ray and by chance if the x-ray had shifted patient had had shake their head or if the angle was not right then we have to repeat the same process now again try to understand when you are trying to find out your working length okay which this one is going to show your anatomical working length not the minor constrictor so that concept was not at all in our mind at that point of time okay my general belief was that whatever i can see i will put it one mm short and i think many of the doctors still follow the same principle okay again coming to back to my story so now try to remember the hazel we had to shoot a film okay and one film used to cost around uh, 1500 rupees for 100 film so your one film is going to be around uh, what you can call uh, 1.5 or 2 rupees at that point of time am i right or wrong no 20 rupees okay 1500 rupees for no 15 into 100 it's 15 rupees per film Okay, so 1500 rupees for 100 films. So one film used to cost 15 rupees. Now, in order to get working length with three rooted tooth, you need minimum two x-rays because if you put all the files together, they, they might overlap. So I used to put one file in the mesial, one in the distal and used to take lingual separately. Similar thing with the palatal one. But now if file shakes, etc., we have to develop everything again. So try to remember the hazel at that point of time. Again, if your x-ray radiations were not okay and one more problem, because I was a new dentist, x X-ray developing was not routine. So sometimes you forget that you have to change your solution because the solution will deplete. You had to make this solution and they will, you have to discard them and you again to make them, you have to replace the water in between and by chance when you are opening your film in your X-ray box and light passes from somewhere, then light exposure is going to damage the film. So try to understand so many problems were happening at that point of time and that is why I used to hate BMP. I, I can still recollect many a times when I was not in mood, I will I will change my patient's BMP appointment. I have sometimes deleted BMP appointments for one, one week altogether. There is another story with this that when I have delayed my BMP, etc., what benefit I have learned from it, what some losses I have made, but it was anything that happens for us is for some or the other if you try to reevaluate. Not a point of discussion right now, but now compare the same situation with today. You have a small equipment of 6,500 rupees. You just put your file in the tooth and you connect your file with it and you just press your file below and 10 seconds it is going to show your opex. So within 30 seconds, your working length is done. Try to understand how fast your RCTs can happen. Try to understand how accurately your RCTs can happen. So now any new dentist complaining that RCTs are difficult, you have not seen the difficulties in RCTs. You have 100 times better facilities today. So my recommendation is just shut your mouth and start improving yourself. People in this current generation want to complain more. I also complain in some aspects of dentistry. Everybody does that. But then again, I am recollected or reminded by my own conscience that you are suggesting other people to improve their skills. Why don't you yourself improve your skills in this aspect of dentistry? Okay, so similarly based on that, I would like to recommend all of you do not. Yes, you have a right to complain, but see to it that you are not just complaining. Improve your skills. If you cannot improve your skills yourself, try to take a professional help. That is the smartest way to become uh, successful and earn more money sooner. But I hope you get my point. Okay, so now this is the part of my life where I used to hate BMP and this modern generation with Apex locator with RVGs. Okay, I still find some doctors in our WhatsApp group where they still are using IOPA. I would recommend you to please get your RVGs. Okay. Try to understand RVGs from 1,50,000 rupees have dropped down to 60,000 rupees. We have previously made a video on it. I hope that benefits you out. And now again, we have brought up a video where a Apex locator just 6,500 rupees can save you a lot of hassle. Believe me, once you start using your Apex locator, your RCTs are going to improve. Your BMPs are going to be better. Your problems after RCF and your flare-up chances are going to drastic, drastically drop down. RCTs are bread and butter for any dentist, so you cannot have an excuse of not having an Apex locator. If you consider important equipments of a clinic, then according to me, my list will go like this. I will first buy an intraoral camera, 
then I will buy an RVG because if I'm able to convince the patient to get a treatment done, then I'm going to take an X-ray and then I'm going to do something about it. So our intraoral camera is necessary, RVG is equally necessary. But now next two points are where mistakes made. I would put apex locator first and then I would like to put my endomotor. Here I have found many new doctors unknowingly make a mistake. They will do get an endomotor, but they will not get an apex locator. I would suggest you to get an endomotor. Now doctors remember, if you do an RCT with hand files that are K files, okay, and if you have an apex locator, your results will be more accurate than you are just using the best rotary files and you are taking your working length with your X-rays. I can guarantee a doctor using simpler K files or hand files and performing RCT with apex locator will have better results and long lasting results. And also remember, okay, what, what you are putting inside the RCT does not matter. What you are removing outside is important. So files are not only the process of removing, irrigation is equally important. This is not a video on RCT, so I would like to stop over here. But my suggestion to you is our apex locator is that much important. So if you are planning on your budget and if you are less on your budget, get apex locator first. We have provide you option of 11,500, you can get both. So better to get that, but get apex locator first. If you have an endomotor and not an apex locator, believe my words, you will never go wrong and I will never give you a suggestion where you invest one of your rupee. Believe me, do get an apex locator and you will definitely thank me. So doctors, here I would like to conclude my topics of discussion related to apex locators. At the end, I have some important notices for you. Number one notice is that as I mentioned in the video in between, we are now starting extra activities for our uh, subscribers and the V-Dentist group members. So we are going to conduct uh, video conferences or you can call lectures or meet at a regular interval. Details of those will be present in the description box. So do join our WhatsApp group and further details will be provided to you. Number second thing is after the huge success of our full composite course, now we are bringing the same composite course in a video format. So there is around more than 50 hours of discussion and video demonstration on our composite course. Do try to take and benefit of it. All the details and the features of the composite course are also in the description box. You can drop us a DM or read out the details in the description box for further details. One thing I can guarantee you, it will definitely change your composites for life. Okay. Lastly, the instruction is whenever you are going to contact us to join our WhatsApp group, you are going to receive a message from my number and that is to provide some details of you being a dentist. This is just a security feature to keep spammers and unwanted people out of the group. If you don't comply to those requirements, unfortunately, we will not be able to make you the part of our group. So do follow the steps completely. Okay, so finally, doctors. I would like to end my discussion for today. One thing I would like you all to draw conclusion is apex locators are good. They are necessary for you. Cheaper apex locator is going to work for you. So my recommendation to you would be please get an apex locator as soon as possible. So doctors, that's all from me on this topic. See you all in yet another interesting video related to dentistry. Until then, stay tuned to the channel. Thank you.